Hi guys, it's Debbie with Debbie J's Crafting Corner. I have no clue what I'm doing tonight, but I do want to say hello and see what you guys are doing. Let me take a quick look at the chat. We've got D is in the house. Um, also, let me know if you can hear me because it would really suck if this was muted again, like it does sometimes. So we have D, we have Miss Melissa Pointer. Welcome, welcome. Um, uh, Charlene Evans, welcome in, and Kim in Alaska, welcome, welcome. I'm seeing some names in the chatty chat that I don't see that often, so welcome on in, guys. That did not work. <laughs> well, you got to see it, but I didn't get to hear it, so I don't know if it played for you guys or not. Well, thank you so much, Kim. Um, I'm assuming that you did not hear the, the alert part, and I think I know why. Let me fix it because yeah, I gotta fix the tech. One thing, I, I'm using something called voice mod and it's cool, but I haven't really learned how it, okay. Um, yes, I'm looking in the thing. Um, I haven't figured out yet exactly how it works. So that means that sometimes it has stolen my microphone. Hello, Miss Melissa. And she's in the house and it shows it on the screen. Yay! love that that love 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 that okay give me just a second to attach it because i don't think it automatically does its thing voice mod connect it's supposed to auto connect but since i started it after i started all the other things that's probably why it didn't work let's see if it's working now Love you guys. Okay. And you know that the reason, the reason I add those things is because I want to make it everything more fun for you guys and say the stuff, but didn't hear it. Yep. Hello, Miss Cordelia. Which, cord, which troublemaker is Cordelia? Hmm. Anyhow, um, I did get a few things in this week. I, I'm sorry. If, if I don't seem like my normal self, I am really trying to hype myself up. I love you guys and I want to be here for you. Um, I had a hard day yesterday. And I realized today that when I get really angry, I don't know if you guys do this or not, but if, when I get really angry, the aftermath of that is I get really friggin' depressed which is not fun. <laughs> it's like this morning, it's like, why do I feel like I am going to cry? There's nothing going on to make me like that. Oh, well, thank you, Kim. Yeah, it's, I got mad because of stuff having to do with my website, to be honest. I've been using Bluehost as my blog hosting I don't know, five years at least. Um, I started off with their free plan, which was great. And then it's like, well, I want to add some things that, okay, you guys know me. I like to tinker. I like to add things. Hello, Miss Linda. Welcome, welcome. But you guys know, I, <laughs> I also don't know if it's louder than me. So anyway, um, I like to tinker and I like to make things better and, and all the things. And in order to do any of that stuff on my website, I was going to have to go to the paid plan, which I did. When it got close to renewal time, this is like after a couple of years, I had been having slowness, slowness issues. It just irritated me to no, no end had how in my opinion, how slow my site was compared to the rest of the internet. So I upgraded. Yeah, I paid them more money to try to fix it. Well, it is still not working completely right. And yesterday, while I was working on the, e the first email that went out yesterday, um, while I was working on that stuff, my site went down. I'm working on it and it completely goes down. And when I contact them, like via chat, it's somebody that I don't know if they're even in the United States. I don't know if they know a thing. But while I'm talking to them on chat, um, I say, well, can you find out why it did this? Because it came back up while I was doing this. It's like it was down for like a half hour. And when he finally got me an answer, yeah, it turned out it was because of Hello, Miss Ellen. Hello, hello. But it was because of the Bluehost plugin. It was their stuff that they installed on my site that I did not request to be there. 
that was causing it to go down. Well, I don't think that was 100% true because last night it went down twice more. I find out because I get emails. It's like, what? It's like, I can't have that. It's like, I, and this is not just the blog part. It's the whole thing. It was my shop that doesn't really have anything in it. I need to work on that. And it was my EDU site, which you guys know I'm doing classes on there all the time. So I don't want any of that stuff to not be available for you. So yeah, I got a little bit angry yesterday. I think I got more angry than I probably should have. I probably overreacted a little bit because I am so friggin' frustrated with it. Just not working the way it's supposed to and anyway once the summit's over this weekend and I'm going to try to hold out until after the class next week I'm going to be switching switching hosting platforms so it's hopefully it won't shut the site down at all but if you you guys that were at the cricket um, joy summit saw that on Friday during the summit the site went down. Hello, Miss Donna. Hello, hello. Oh, by the way, welcome to the folks that I didn't give a proper welcome to. <laughs> so anyway, um, I'm going to try to hold out until after I do the class just to make sure everybody's got access. And then I'm going to be moving it over. But if you went, to, if you were doing the the Cricket Joy Summit that was just a few weeks ago, on Friday the site went down, completely went down. That's because she was hosting it on Bluehost. She has switched over to another company that is really good, a little um, out of my price range though. So there's another one that's supposed to be pretty much as good, well, almost as good, maybe not as fast. Um, but hopefully it'll be one that will handle the traffic that I'm trying to drive to all of these things because I want to do more stuff. Anyhow, <laughs> Alan says that was cool. <laughs> Anyhow, um, so... Yeah, some of the stuff that I was waiting on was um, Spellbinders. Not going to show it to you yet, but Spellbinders has been selling out of all of their better press stuff. So it came in late. So the Christmas collection, the Christmas better press collection was supposed to be stuff that we were supposed to be able to show you guys by around the 10th of last month. And I just got it and I just finished recording videos today or a video that's going to have like, <laughs> it's so, that thing is so friggin' easy to do like mass producing. I made six cards. Here's one. And that's not good. That's not good lighting. Let me see if I can switch it and let you guys see it a little bit better. Maybe it'll show better on flat lay. But yeah, that's one of the cards that I made today using the better press and not even thick, thick cardstock. I mean, this is actually some pretty thin cardstock that I didn't realize was that thin. Um, there I am. Okay. Switch it to the other side. Okay. But yeah, that's some um that's some shimmer card stock that I got from Michael. So it's some recollection stuff that I've had in my stash for two years. Never even opened the packaging. And it's it's super, super thin. I mean, this stuff is really, really thin. This is telling that I did do a little bit of die cutting. But yeah, it is really thin. It's it's thinner than my regular card stock that um my regular like 80 pounds so uh, it, you can still feel the texture but it's just not as it's not as pronounced but still the better print the whole the way the thing works makes it so easy to get a perfect stamping I'm just saying stamping like you are doing stamping um, like with your regular stamps it's so easy to get a perfect impression exactly where you want it without it shifting around because the friggin' magnet and the, the stamps, quote unquote stamps, are actually, um, they're metal and they're magnetic so it stays in place. So I think that's really cool. Okay, so Linda says, nice looking forward. So I don't know if she's talking about me looking at the camera for a change or or, or the fact that she gets to see that video in. That one's gonna be going up on Thursday. Okay, so tomorrow I'm going to be editing. I'll be releasing it to members. So if you're a member on my channel, you'll have access to it sometime tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow's Wednesday. And then Thursday, the video will be going up. And also Thursday, there's going to be an Instagram hop that um, there's Lynn is Lynn, I'm trying to think of. <sighs> I forgot her channel name again. 
Anyway, she does stuff with scrappy tails and with not too shabby and, and spellbinders, and she is coordinating an Instagram hop on Thursday. So this is something that we're going to probably be doing um, every once in a while. I think she's trying to do at least once a month. So we're going to be doing that, and that's going to be on Thursday. So I'd love for you to give it all the love. Uh, another thing coming up on Thursday is the beginning of, I think that's what she's calling I don't remember what she's calling it. Brandy stamp me some love we're going to be having the um the start the the party <laughs> the before the before the summit starts party because the card maker success summit is back and it's going to be happening this weekend and i'm going to be speaking on friday so on friday that's when my presentation's going up and i believe my live is going to be at 5 30 i'm going to check the calendar some point today lv handcrafted yes so lv handcrafted is the one that's going to be co coordinating our um instagram hop so that is going to be fabulous um i love that donna says that i'm a tease it's so fun <laughs> So, um, was there anybody that I didn't say hello to yet? And if you're sitting in the chat and just, I mean, if you're sitting and watching and just lurking and not saying anything in the chat, that is totally fine. We love our lurkers. We love our replay crew. We love all of you guys. Um, I would love for you to say hello though, because the folks that are hanging out in the chat, yep, they have fun. And I love the, love the fact that you guys get to know each other and all that stuff. So anyhow, um, yeah. Anyway, that's that's kind of <laughs> what I've been. I I made myself record the video today because it's like I said I was down. So if I don't sound, I'm gonna do part of it as a voiceover. So hopefully I'll get the perkiness back in the video for the better press stuff. But anyhow, um, what else do I want to tell you guys right now before we start looking at the goodies that I got in? Um, what does this button do? Oh, this one has to do with the live that I'm going to be doing on Friday at 5 p.m. I was right. It's 5, 5 p.m. on Friday. So I'm going to be doing a live Q&A on Friday and having to do with that cute little card, which I have sitting over here. And yes, I kind of pulled it off to the side so I would know for sure that I've got it. Oh, God. And it just it just dawned on me what I did. OK, let me pull this thing down. Um, that one. Yeah. Okay. So this is, it's a swinger card. If you guys, let me switch cameras. It's a swinging card. Okay. So this is the card that I'm making for the summit that's coming up this weekend. Right. And I kind of forgot. <laughs> <laughs> that everything is so close together because next Saturday, hello, Miss Gloria. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Okay. I kind of forgot that this was a swinging card. Yeah, it's been sitting on my desk and I did the video. I recorded the video, uploading, sent everything off to Brandy months ago. But the class we're doing on Saturday, uh, a week from Saturday, on the 19th, I decided to do swinging cards. Yeah. So we're going to be, <laughs> we're going to be doing Halloween. <laughs> and you guys might remember that last year, um, Spellbinders came out with some swinging trick-or-treaters. Like there is a mummy and there's a ghost and they're just super cute. And so that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, except I'm also going to be showing one that most folks will not have gotten yet because it is brand new. So those are the ones that if you've got the dies, perfect, you're all ready to go for the class. It's going to be super fun. And I'm going to actually be making a Grim Reaper and I haven't decided 100% what I'm going to do with it, but that's what we're going to be working on in the Halloween card class coming up. So yeah, I completely forgot. So I've got a swinging card, this one, and then I'm going to be doing a couple more. And I've got some ideas that I'm not 100% sure will work with um, with, <laughs> with the others because, yeah, anyway, um, we'll see. Well, welcome in, Miss Carol. Welcome, welcome. And if you saw me kind of flipping back, welcome. <laughs> Uh, that's that's just my chair still sucks. We still have not gone shopping for my chair. 
So, Gloria, I've been busy today. Crafty Critter wants me wants more pokey tools and glue toppers. Fabulous! I am so proud of you, Gloria. That's awesome. And if you haven't seen those things, I am not promoting things ever all. I'm just chatting right now, guys. This is my my pretty little glue topper from Gloria Wolf. I've got a little mermaid on there. Uh, that she made and then she also made me kind of a matching pokey tool so when she says that this is what um, crafty crit is wanting this is what she's talking about so if you have not already gotten yours from her you can um, let her know that you're interested and you guys can chat um, via email I've also got an email link somewhere in the discord that's another thing I need to update um, Speaking of which, let me check social media stuff. Um, what should have happened is this thing should have or should be posting. It didn't do it. Hey, Miss Brenda, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome. <coughs> Try not to cough into the mic. So sorry about that, guys okay so now that I've talked about all the other things um, I had to refresh my chat for some reason never went through okay um, Gloria I, actually I think I think there might be a link to her uh, there might be her email down in the description I'm pretty sure I added that I'm gonna just double check real quick um, because I think I put it in there as an automatic. Yes, her email address is down in the description. I've got a big section of um, some of my favorite supplies. I add in what I'm using on each video, but then I've got a list of things that I use on almost everything. Um, and I'd say close to the bottom of that, it has glue top. It's like right after art glitter glue. It says glue topper from Gloria Wolf and her email address. So you can get that. Fabulous. And Gloria also says you can get in touch with her on um, my Facebook or on my Discord page. Um, absolutely, she you can have access that way. But this way, you do have her email address as well. Okay. So I caught that Elizabeth went live. Um, yeah, this morning I saw that she went live last night. And when she brought up one of the things I had to say, Todd, look at this. This is what I'm talking about. Because I got it in too. You know, the reason I got it in is because I placed an order with Ranger. <laughs> so I've got, and you guys might remember that I got some of this stuff last year. I got the new mica stains. All six of them. I got in the new black, black opaque texture paste which to, I'll be honest with you I am real bad about not using these kind of medias but Halloween's coming Halloween is the time that I like to get my hands dirty and play and then I also got the glow in the dark glow in the dark let me move my camera again switch it switch it and turning off the lights Okay, there's too much light coming in from there, but this stuff does, does really glow. Putting it under my desk, it really glows a bright green. I mean, yeah. Um, I also have blinds in here now. I know I told you guys for a while that I have trouble with the light coming through here. So the light is coming through at an angle where I've got the, <laughs> got the blinds so that it's not gonna hit me in the face, but it is coming in underneath my, uh, my monitor. I don't know if you can see it. But anyway, it's coming in under the monitor, which is the reason I can't get it dark enough in here for you guys to see it. Anyhow, that's kind of what I want to play with a little bit. I have no idea if I want to make anything, but I do want to try out the new mica stains. And I went ahead and pulled out all of my other sprays because these need to go into their home, right? They need to get put away. Awesome. So um, Carol says that she just ordered these guys and they were going to they're going to be there on Saturday. And Ellen says she needs ink pads for stamps. OK, Ellen, we've got a couple of favorites. 
got Simon Hurley and Hey Miss Judy. I've got Catherine Pooler. Those are two of my favorites. Um, it really depends on what kind of stamping you want to do as to what colors are going to go good. There are some blacks that are really good. There's embossing that is clear, but then you put embossing powder over it. And then these are, this is some inks that I have never seen before until Creativation. And these things are super cool. And I've only shown you guys a couple of times. Um, do I have black cardstock over here? Why? Yes, I do. But do I want to use a heavy weight? I want to use regular weight. Is this a regular weight? Okay, here is some black. And that's not, I'm not using that one. That's the expensive stuff. And then I know I've got some panels of white over here. And here's some white. I have to do the demo like what? Yes, Catherine's are so, um, Catherine Pooler's are so juicy. I love these, um, but I, not things off my desk. Um, I have a bad habit of not re-inking them. So I'm working on that and I just got in some new ones. Um, I did a video part of her influencer team. We did the apples and those are so cute. Anyway, these are three of what Lisa Horton calls interference inks. I saw these at Creativation, super fabulous. Let me find, here we go. And you guys pick. Do we want to go orange, purple, or blue? Tell me in the chat, what color do you want me to play with? I know what you're going to say. You want me to do all of them. Okay, thank you so much, Glory. I've seen that too. Um, I am, I am. Right now, I have YouTube Studio up in one screen. I've got... Uh, welcome in, Vedette. Welcome, welcome. I need to get back to the other screen now because I wasn't expecting somebody to say hi. Hi, and welcome. <laughs> and welcome, Charlene. Okay, Charlene says sounds good, all of them. This was not even what I had planned for. I'm Okay, I'll be honest. I didn't have anything planned. Okay, I'll start off with this one. You can see the pad is nice and blue. And no, Ellen, I'm not saying you need to get all the things. I'm saying you need to tell me what kind of thing you're interested in. Chat with me and we will figure you out. We will sort you out. I don't know where you're at in that part of your crafty journey. So, so we've got it on white. Just going to add it to my brush here. And you can see it is nice and pretty and blue, right? And I'm actually surprised this is showing the color correctly. So that's awesome. Okay, so now I'm gonna come over onto the black. I'm actually going back and forth. Can you see that? Now let me get it in the light, there we go. So we've got blue that is green on black cardstock. That is what I was just shocked when I saw that at Creativation. And there is a video. Uh, this is actually a cheapo brush I got off of Amazon. It's just a little brush. This isn't even her pretty brush. I mean, I do know that Lisa Horn has got her own brushes and now I don't have enough to do all the colors. And I somehow lost my um, my baby wipes. I lost them. I don't know what happened to them. They're somewhere. Anyhow, uh, these are... She calls them interference inks. And they are... I don't know that they're water reactive, but I do know that when you get them wet again, you can kind of add them. And Ellen says she needs all the things. We can help you with that. I have affiliate links. Speaking of which, I just um, told you guys over on my, over in the Discord, I posted a link over there because I thought, I thought that I had my um, page up on my website. See, I, I'm finding out things. It's like, because I don't pay enough attention to different parts of it and I'm just irritated. Um, on my website, I thought I had a page that had most of 
well, pretty much my favorite suppliers and all the affiliate links that go to them. And I went to the page today and it was empty. Apparently I turned off something and it turned off everything that was in that one. I mean, I created it using something that is no longer on my site. So I just, so Dee says that she borrowed my baby wipes and didn't tell me. What'd you do that for? <laughs> I know you didn't do it. I had them a couple of days ago. Okay, so this one is Warm Chestnut Shimmer. And what you can see on the on the front of this, so this is the color it starts at, and this is the color it turns to on black, okay? So this one's gonna start off with this like brownish purple and then turn into this darker purple. Oh no, not that big of a difference on this one. So I think I got all the blue out of this, but we'll see how that looks. So that is kind of a brownish color. Let me zoom in a bit. So you can see a little bit better, hopefully. And then we go over. And I can see it because I can see the, I can, yeah, the light helps. And the only reason that we do it like this is so that you can actually see that it is done. So it starts off as a brown, but even when you when you put it in the light, right, you can see like on that blue, you can see the gold mica, and on this brownish, you can see that blue bluish purple. So those are really cool. Like I said, this one doesn't really have that big of a difference. Okay, so next, this one you're going to see much more, and I'm thinking that's going to be kind of cool for for Halloween. Yes, pretty shimmery. Love the shimmer. <laughs> Donna says, handing Debbie a baby wipe. Well, I've got these, um, these, what, shop towels or something that I got from Dollar Tree. I've got a bunch of them, but I really never use them. Okay. So now we're going to do this orange one. Pick up a bunch of the ink. And that is a really pretty, I'm, I'm thinking that is definitely a pumpkin orange. That is just so nice. Hello, Eden. Welcome, welcome. I know who BFGM is and I forgot her name. You're gonna have to tell me I'm so sorry, but I met you over on Not Too Shabby. <laughs> Blossom, that's right, hello Blossom. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so we've got the orange that turns into this purple. And to be honest, I think these two both have kind of the same color of mica because they're very, very close on the black. But I do think this is really, really cool that they change color. I mean, it reminds me of some of those um, watercolors that have done that because I've never seen anything else. So this is just one of the inks that this is the new to my stash and I got it from scrapbook.com. Like I said, affiliate leads are basically everywhere. Um, but I did add, it's not in the chat, but Debbie J's crafting corner. If you go to my website, it's up in the, um, up in the navigation bar. There is an, a link that I think I turned to color. Anyway, there's a link up at the top. This is my path, my favorite crafty stores. And you can find pretty much um, all of my favorites, including Spellbinders, Scrappy Tales, Not Too Shabby, Artist Spree, Scrapbook.com, and even my new Amazon store because they finally approved me to do that. Which is a lot more convenient. I mean, yeah, me having to get the individual links every time and try to find them and make sure I get everything to you guys and, and that kind of thing it does make it a little hard, especially since sometimes I forget. So, anything I miss? I'm not missing anything in the chat so far. You guys have been actually very nice. You've been just saying hello. Not even any food talk yet. Uh-oh. I think I started something. Y'all are going to be talking about food now. Okay. So, not sure what I'm going to do with those panels because <laughs> they just kind of look like yuck now. But what I want to play with is messy stuff which I don't get messy very often 
And let me get my other inks out of the way. Um, but yeah, um, Ellen, just back to what I was talking to you about is that you just need to let me know what I don't I don't want anybody to go out and buy all the things all at once for one thing you don't know what you're gonna like you don't know um you don't know if you're going to even continue with stamping I mean if you're just starting up stamping and wanting to try it out and see if you like it you don't want to get the full <laughs> full spectrum of all the different kinds I mean I have got Tim Holtz which I keep all my Tim Holtz minis close by I've got basically all the colors and they're awesome but I don't use them as much as I do some of the other things unless I need to I mean, it just is what it is. I mean, they're they're small. I mean, I now blend with larger brushes, so it's not as convenient for me. But I do have them sitting here. I've got those. I've got some Hero Arts. I've got some Altenew. I've got... I started off with... Oh, gosh, what was it? I mean, started off with the blacks, to be honest. I think I started off with some of the blacks, and I started off with some pigment inks from Michaels, of all places. And they just, they just, yeah, they're just not good. I wound up finally throwing them out because they just didn't work. Um, what buckets are best? Which storage buckets do you use? I use a lot of different things, and I'm currently, um, <laughs> I have to go back and reorganize all my stuff. So this is just something, this is like a shoebox thing I got from Michaels, and it works for some stuff. When it comes to storage, it really depends on what you want. I have had these over time break and have to get replaced, but they're cheap. Scallops and risotto will be in about three hours. Brenda, bring me dinner. Yeah. I don't know, but my my mouth is watering here. Oh, it's they're in Arizona. So, okay. I don't think you're gonna bring it to me. <sighs> now, Ellen, you were not. Ellen says she was joking, and she wasn't. Now, all of us want all the things. We have what's called um, full set syndrome. And yeah, that's one reason why I ordered these because last year I loved it. It's like I've, I had a couple of sprays and there's like, okay, when Tim Holtz came out with his mica sprays, it's like, okay, I have to try that. And I loved them, but I don't really use that kind of stuff that much, mostly because I've got specific projects that I need to get done. And when I'm thinking about a die set, I kind of don't... When I'm thinking about a die set, I don't think about all the things I can do with the paper, if that makes sense. So we are going to try these guys out and see what the colors look like. Um, also, I'm not really concerned about time, which is one reason why I hope you guys don't mind me talking your ears off too much tonight. Oh, because Dawn is not going live tonight. She said she would. Oh, no, she didn't. I said I did not expect her to be in the chat, but she also responded to something else I said at the same time. So um, it's somebody's birthday. Somebody in her family is having a birthday, so she is um, not going to be doing her live stream tonight, and so we probably won't see her. But you know what? That's okay. I am going to check my Discord now. I've got something set up that it's supposed to automatically post over there when I go live and or when there is a new video upload and it I've actually got a testing server done up there too and it didn't post to either one of them which means I need to find a different bot that's why I test them I mean it is posting other things like it did post Elizabeth's live but I think when did it say she went live uh, that's not the one video announcements it's in the video announcement thing so it was it actually posted twice once at 636 and the other at 842 so it posted twice that she um, said that she just uploaded a video and <laughs> so it maybe it's not posting until afterwards I have no idea but yeah it doesn't look like it's it hasn't posted my on uh, my live so I don't know See, I want to make sure that you guys get notified of everything. Okay. Um, I'm going to be smart so I don't mix all the things. 
I've got paper towels under my desk because I go through them. And I'm not taking out my huge bin because it takes up most of my desk. And yeah, it's like this high anyway. So here is a piece of watercolor cardstock. I think I'm going to turn it that way. And this one is called Ominous Twilight. And I am going to be careful and not have it go everywhere like what happened with I think it was Elizabeth that had a, an issue opening one of these last year oh uh, I understand that one completely um so um Judy is saying that she is reorganizing and that was I got off on a tangent sorry um but yeah that's one of the things um I'm needing to do too we've got two junk rooms because we're adults and we collected things over the years. My husband collected a lot of stuff having to do with his industry, which is like speaker stuff and electronics and things. Most of which is just most of the stuff that he had was like old and not worth anything and definitely not worth the storage space. So he finally cleaned out one of the junk rooms and got rid of most of the stuff. And that means that there's more room in the other one because we moved some of the stuff out of it into his. So he spent three weeks <laughs> cleaning out that room. So it's like, awesome. But now, of course, I'm thinking, I really need to start working on mine. So I did start going through some of my stamps and dyes, some of my older stuff that I know I'm never going to use. And I'm going to be donating them to the Goodwill local. Um, if there's stuff that I think you guys might want, that I'll, I'll do some kind of a de-stash something in the coming months. But yeah, I need to do that. I'm also starting to fill in my Color My Life app. So Elizabeth probably was the first one I heard about it from, you know, that I actually talked to somebody about it. I'd seen it, you know, on YouTube and stuff before. But Color My Life is a... It's basically an inventory app for you to put all your crafty things and it's designed for us. <laughs> D says, no, I'll come and get them. And the thing is, some of this stuff is not anything you want. Okay, it's where, okay, did anybody when they first started crafting get stuff that there's no way in you, you would in your right mind buy it today? Low quality, crappy designs, just, just, you know, I mean, I've got some of that stuff because I didn't know what I was doing. And yeah, I didn't know what this stuff was. D says, yes, I use Color My Life. So Color My Life now has it where you can use it on your PC. Yes, because most of the stuff that I need to add in there is not going to come up from being able to um, scan in the barcode. Here's something else. I got a, I got these the, these things from um, Ranger. I did get an, a couple of um, older, they were on like their dollar deals, some older um, embossing powders. Those the, the barcode worked for. These did not. The packaging for these did not work for the barcode. So that means I'm gonna have to go in there and manually do it. And I'm sorry, it is much easier for me to copy and paste from one monitor, from one browser on one monitor to another browser on another monitor than it is for me to try to do it all on my phone. I need to be able to see what I'm doing and it just works out so much better for me. I mean, I get, I can do things pretty fast if I do it that way. That's, pr I probably spoiled because I've been using two monitors for computer stuff for, I don't know, ever since they, well, since my husband got me my first, my second monitor, and at the same time, my job, I was working at Schwab, and they decided to have everybody use two monitors, and that was, gosh, how long ago was that? I think it was like 07? Yeah, like 2007, 2008, something like that. So I've been doing this the whole time. I've been using multiple monitors ever since then. It makes it a lot easier to make sure that you get everything correctly, especially since I was at a security firm and you want to make sure you get the numbers in right. It, I don't, I mean, otherwise you had to try to do all the windows on one small monitor. And it's like, no, these are big monitors. They're like, okay, you can't see. It's like, 
I think they're sort of like, what, 27 inch? I think they're each a 27 inch. Yeah, spreadsheets are great too. I use spreadsheets all the time, but sometimes I wind up getting myself lost in it because I'm also, I'm, I need lots of different types of input depending on what I'm doing. And then my brain also changes its mind. Um, visual works great for me to be able to quickly find something on my spreadsheet as long as I've got only a limited amount of things on there, like when I've got all my projects that I need to get done. Right now I'm freaking out because like, uh, what can I work on right now that I can work on right now because it's out <laughs> because I'm finally I'm finally that caught up it's like the next projects that I'm going to be working on are ones that I can't show you guys until like the end of the week so that is awesome <clears throat> okay I know you guys want to see this stuff so this first one is called ominous twilight the way the package I mean it's hard to read it with all the way that the with the colors mixed together and stuff and I have not shaken these yet. I don't know if you can hear the little ball in there or not. But you can see the mica is still stuck to the bottom of the thing. That's one thing I remember from last year. Tim Holtz was saying that you have to shake these a lot. They need to have a personal and doll list like CML. You have over 250. Oh my god. Yeah, I've always been good with you know numbers and, and inventory and all that kind of stuff. I my my biggest problem is I reorganize things and then I don't remember where I had stuff before for the stuff that I haven't actually put into the new system and then I never get around to it. So I've been using Color My Life for uh, I know at least a few months. I mean, I'm paying for I, it's like a dollar fifty a month or something. I'm paying for the regular version so I can have the web access and everything. But I haven't gotten all my stuff in there yet because mostly because I haven't gone and done it. I've got part of my spellbinders in there, and I was going through all of my spellbinders, making sure everything was in its nice little packaging that I do. You know, the little sleeves and all that, and labeled. I've got a label maker an old brother P-Touch label maker that I've had for years. I've had that. Okay, that one's about done. And I label everything so I know what it is because, again, when you first start out, you don't know to, to put the name of stuff on there, but it's kind of a good idea to do that because then you can go back and find it again if you've got it in some kind of an organization. This one is not shaking at all. It's like that mica is really, really stuck in there. Can you see that? So here's the purple, and you can see that there's no mica in there now, or rather none stuck to the bottom, and this one has a lot of mica stuck to the bottom. These are maracas. Okay, it's starting to loosen up, and the orange has got it really stuck in there too. So the green is coming. Now this green is called specimen. And then this orange is mold cider. So this one's an apple cider kind of thing. One of the reasons I love uh, creating at Halloween is because I get to play with all the stuff and try out new techniques. Of course, when you don't play with your sprays, except once a year, that means that you're not going to actually remember <laughs> what you did before. So I do need to do that more. I don't do as much ink smushing as I should. I don't do as much watercolor. There's just not enough hours in the day. I was just telling somebody yesterday, it's like, why do they do that? We, why is there only 24 hours in the day? We need more crafty time. Okay, so that one's ready. Then this one is called Fallen Acorn, and it's kind of a, a brownish color. I'm looking to see what else I have left. Oh, and the other one is called Phantom Mist, and that's kind of a blue-greenish kind of thing. And then we've got Unraveled, so I've got six colors here. I am kind of anxious to try out the grit paste and see if I can actually make myself. I need to start using paste again. I mean, texture on cards is cool, right? 
Okay, Gloria says, I made a porcelain doll, Dee Dee. Oh, bought the head, legs, and arm and made the body and fabric. I have seen those. Fabulous. Um, if you have a picture, could you share it over in the Discord? Okay. This one is really stuck. Okay. When is my live for CMSS? My live for CMSS is five o'clock on Friday. So I'm going to be live on the um, Stamp Me Some Love website, and I believe it's going to be going live also in the Facebook group. So if you have got your ticket, great. If you haven't gotten your ticket yet, you need to go ahead and get that. And there should be a link down below for you. If there's not, I need to add my link for you guys. I don't think I, maybe I didn't add it. I do not remember. No, it's not. I know it's on my link tree. Let me grab it from my link tree. Actually, I might have it set as a thing that I can just add it in the chat. Let me see if this one works. Exclamation point CMSS. Don't know if I fixed this one or not. Yes, it looks like it is there. Fabulous. Actually, it has the wrong date, but it is the correct link. And I'm going to just double check it and make sure because I used the same link as I did back in February. And it does work. Awesome. So that is the link. So if you if in, in my live later on, if you forget, just type in exclamation point CMSS card maker success summit, and that'll bring up that little um, text thing so that you can see that. Let me get this thing, get my face off of my face. I've got two windows, uh, I've got too many windows open in different places. Uh, that's when it goes away. Okay. But yeah, that's gonna be at five o'clock on Friday. I'm spending all my time just getting things prepped. Goodness. Okay, so we're going to start off with what I said first, which is the Ominous Twilight. I could try not to make a mess. I don't really want this stuff on my shirt. Now that is pretty purple. But of course I need to mix it. See, here's the thing with these, they've got mica in them and what he, and I'm doing this right now kind of as a sample, but I love the way the mica shimmer looked. Um, last year we had villainous potion. No, we had hocus pocus. This one's hocus pocus. So we've got hocus pocus, which is a lighter purple. What's this one? Oh, I've got, I've got two of hocus pocus. Yeah, that means I need to use purple. And then this was, this one's Wilted Violet, which is an Oxide. Did I have any other purples in here? What I tried to do with these is to do a little swatch that I put on the top, and I'll probably do that later, but I thought I had Villainous Potion in here, and I don't see anything called that. I've got Fortune Teller. That's another purple. And the micas are really, really cool because they do have, I've got some of these that do not have my swatches. I'm going to have to be playing with these things again. And I also had a couple of sprays that were not. Like this one is a shimmery one from Heidi Swap that I don't even think they make anymore. Ah, oh, yeah, I'm missing some swatches. I'm going to have to make some swatches. But anyway, that is our first one. Uh, do I want to put anything else in there? I have to put away the old ones because I don't want to I don't want to do those yet. So that would probably go good with well, how about this? We've got okay, orange and purple don't necessarily go well together, but I'm gonna do it anyway. That means that then when they cut when they overlap, it's probably gonna be kind of brownish. Haha. <laughs> 
and you guys really can't see it when, but to me it looks kind of like it looks like blood i'm sorry it's a halloween thing there now you can see a little bit more of that so we've got that one and then and i need to move this off to the side so it can dry which is why i always have a cutting board So it looks really kind of black in places and that's a lot of it has to do with the orange over the purple that does not necessarily work well but i still think it's gonna be kind of cool also means that you can make some dark grungy looking backgrounds for your halloween cards with just a couple of squirts Um, D says, well, when you start going through your things and see a white minivan hanging around, just wait. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's probably going to be my husband in our creepy white, um, creepy white van. Okay, now you can see the orange better. So now I've got a purple and an orange. I think I kind of want to do them separate like that. How do you like the way that it beads up? I'm going to need another, I'm going to need another cutting board. Okay, so next we're going to go with, so I did the malt cider and I did the ominous twilight. Yeah, cool orange. And then we've got, this one already started doing it again. This one's called Unraveled, which that's kind of saying mummy. So yeah, this is this one's kind of an off whiteish color. Ooh. Okay, it has to stay on there. I have to find my other. I I know I've got another cutting board. Oh, here's another cutting board. Thought I had another bigger one, but I definitely need a another couple of them because there's only room for so much. Just get some clipboards. I've got some over here too, but I think they've got papers on them. And this is just so that I can move them around without getting, without making a humongous mess. Speaking up, I'm going to be right back because I'm going to go move these and put them somewhere so they can dry. And y'all can look in these, this empty container that has nothing but a paper towel in there. Okay. Um, looking to see what else do I have that I can put these on. Okay, so I grabbed out and I took the stuff off of one of my, one of my clipboards. instead of a cutting board. Oh yeah, cut clipboard and anything that's flat like that will work great for this. So I've got three of them done. I got three more to go. So specimen, I have to try out this Bantam Mist. Charlene says I'm wanting a black spray. I'm wanting to see if which one is black. Well, I'd say that Fallen Acorn is probably going to be the closest so far, but I can check back in my other micas and see. So this one is this one is a blue. This one is Phantom Mist. debating whether or not I want any more color on there because these are just pretty, you know, but sometimes it looks nice with the white showing through, right? Okay. So that one is Phantom Mist. And 
And if I take pictures of everything, then you'll be able to see the colors better, you know, once it all dries. So this one is Fallen Acorn. Uh, I think he does have, um, there should be some black soot spray or I don't know that there's any that's going to be a stain that's going to be in that kind of thing but if you're looking just for a black spray that doesn't have the mica I'm sure that he's got um, probably in regular and in oxide I don't have all of those though like I said I don't play with sprays that much Ooh. now this is a cool brown it's like it started off looking a little bit grayish and you can see that along the edges where it's a little whiter but it is a nice brown like that okay and then i've got one more which is going to be specimen and this one should be a greenish color Ooh, and this one is kind of a moldy black green. This is actually darker than I was expecting. But you can see on the packaging, it shows that it's supposed to be a green. With any of these colors, it really depends on what you use it with as to what it's going to look like. Okay. And this is, it's dripping out the side because I, I've got so much ink on there. Okay, so I'm going to get this stuff out of the way, and then I'm going to try doing what I did last year for one, um, and that's that creepy moon thing that we did. I'm going to try that. I'm going to try to go from memory. I don't remember exactly what I did, but I want to try it again. I think that will be cool. Uh, so I'm switching off my face cam, and I'll be right back. I'm going to try not to make a humongous mess of things, too. I'm dropping things. I'm dropping things. Yeah, the more um, more of the spray I put on there, the more likely it's going to drip off. I don't really want it to drip off. At least I was smart this time, and I'm using watercolor paper. Okay, so one thing I know that we used before was a mask, and I don't know if I saved it or not, because I kind of have some DIY kind of stencils. So I've got a couple of circle outlines, but not the circle that was in a meaning I probably lost it. And these would be the kind of things that those um, new stencils that the stencils and masks that um, Elizabeth just got, this, so that would work really good for this. But I do have my Halloween -y, um, stencils and stuff from last year. This would be kind of cool. And I will be getting more Halloween stuff in because I just can't resist. So this one is from Scrappy Tales from last year. And this one is from Scrappy Tales from last year. And I'm thinking those are probably going to, I don't know that they're going to work too well because I don't have any adhesive on the back of them. But, you know. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to tape them on to the watercolor paper. Tape them on from the back just to see. How, I'm, I'm just experimenting. That's the thing. It's Halloween crafting is so, so super fun because you can just experiment and play and just see what you like and what you don't. And you've discovered some techniques that you forgot about or that you've never seen and say, oh, I like that. That looks kind of cool. And when it comes to Halloween stuff, though, you know, even if it looks, even if it doesn't look quite like the way that you'd want for, say, a birthday card or a Christmas card, it looks perfect for Halloween. Ah. 
Halloween crafting is definitely the perfect time for experimentation. And I don't have another bucket over here for me to um, go dump my stencil in because I didn't think about it. Okay, what color do I want to go with first, guys? Maybe start light and then work our way out because if I put the dark on there first, then you're not going to be able to see anything. So I've got... I need to try some of these other ones that I've got in here from last year. Um, this one, Flaming Candle, was Flickering Candle was awesome. That was another pretty um, yellow color from last year. This one is Groomed Broomstick. But what I'm wanting is some that is one that is not a shimmer because the shimmer ones, I don't have enough sprays that are not shimmers. I think pretty much everything in here is a shimmer or almost everything. I've got a couple of mats. I've got a couple of oxides in here. So I've got faded jeans, which is an oxide. I've got... Wilted Violet, which is an oxide. Everything else in here pretty much is are the mica stains. Wow. Plus a couple of the Delusion sprays. But almost everything in here is once I've even got Iron Gate. This is making me think that this may be my third year using them. Okay, we're going to start off with, because I'm looking up and I see um, you guys saying pretty blue, pretty blue. I'm going to go ahead and start off with Phantom Mist. I'm going to spray it right where our spider web joins, right there. And let's come in. I'll go ahead and go with this un un Unraveled. And where they overlap, it should be kind of a green. And let's go with some of the orange, the mold cider. And you can see that the the blue is starting to turn kind of a grungy gray color, right? Then we've got this specimen. And then I'm going to come back in with some of the purple. And then I think I'm also going to come back in with the Unraveled again because we've got some white space that I kind of want to have some color to. Okay, so I'm going to take this into the bathroom <laughs> so that I don't make a complete mess of everything and take it out of there and go ahead and rinse off the stencil. And then um, I will be back. But just looking at it, you can see that the the ink look like the spray is starting to pull away from the stencil. So I think it's doing what I want it to do. This is going to be really creepy looking, but it's going to be a fabulous Halloween background. Okay, okay, Cordelia, I will do that. I have to remember not to grab that one. I've got my new card stocks like put in with my old card stocks. The new ones meaning the stuff that comes with the better press and I don't want to use them for every, everyday random stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna be gentle with this. I'm gonna try not to get the whole thing because I don't want to go over the, I don't wanna pull up too much of the uh, ink from underneath, but this is gonna be kind of cool looking. So this is where my hand was, but that still looks cool. Which means, of course, now I need to just plop it down. And pick up some of it up. Let's see what this one looks like. I think these are looking cool. What do you think? Um, Gloria said... 
So I'm scanning back up and I'm not seeing what Gloria said. That was um, Cordelia that said to do the cardstock. But, and it looks like we pulled up enough of this that I might be able to pull up the stencil. Of course, having that tape on there probably, I don't want to get this all over my hands. And I'm going to do it on my desk. But look at that. Okay, now I'm going to use a piece of the watercolor paper and try to pick up all the rest of that. Okay, and then I have to take this and go wash it off because I'm going to make a mess all over the house. That is still pretty cool. Okay. Okay, I'll be right back. So what this basically means, guys, is that you want to have a bin to put your stencils in. My problem is that I didn't have an empty one. I've got all my stuff. I actually emptied out this one to use as a splat box. <laughs> I emptied that one out specifically to use this. Because I don't have any other empty ones at the moment. But isn't that cool looking? I love that one. Wow. Okay. I have to do another one. Okay. I have to find a place to put this, but yeah, I need to do another one, but I'm going to use this other one, this other stencil that is the bats because that's going to be really cool. Okay. So that one still looks good. I didn't move it around too much to get too much drippage. And yes, now I'm using the lid because I need more things to do. Okay. So we're going to do another one. We're going to do it on this one. And I don't think there's going to be quite as much, um, quite as much coverage over the rest of the thing. It should be just in the bats, so that'll be really cool. Yeah, thank you, Cordelia. You love it. Well, that's what I mean. You never know what you're going to get. And I, I love playing with this stuff. I just don't have. I just don't make the time to do a lot of just play it's just like with the gel press i need to do more with it and and with the the um the cricket joy and with the um scan and cut it's like i got all the toys that i i mean i love all the toys <clears throat> but i just never make enough time to get to play with them all okay So, you guys tell me, what color should I go with first? Yeah, it needs a big spider on there, Cordelia, or for that matter, you could put any kind of a um, Halloween character in front of it, and that could be the background. That is just going to be fabulous. I might ha still have some spiders, but I'm not sure. So, tell me a color, guys. Nobody's talking. Okay, thank you. I don't have to push any more buttons now. Okay, so we're going to start off with the green. And hey, hey, Tumbling Tangles. Welcome, welcome.
Okay, so this one is the green. This one is the one that says it's called specimen. To me, it looks more it looks more black than than green. So I'm going to add to it some of the unraveled. Try to fill in some of that color. Oh, <laughs> yeah, this is one I definitely have to pick up the color over the top. I'm just going to let it sit there for a second instead of pressing it in. Might press a little bit in. Yeah, just letting it sit there for a second and just absorb some of that excess. And then let's see how this looks. What do you think, guys? I really like this. Okay. I think I'm going to go back over it one more time, mostly so I can try to pick up some of that, um, some of that spray from up at the top. And then we can take the stencil off and see what it looks like, um, looks like, like underneath. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea how this would turn out if you used it on regular cardstock. I'm thinking that having watercolor cardstock is probably best because it can start absorbing into it. And I just realized my face isn't there anymore. Hey, <laughs> I have to fix this. I need to, which side do you like the, like the um, picture in picture better? That side or this side? Because I need to, I need to make a decision. I need to just do it and fix it instead of going back and forth like that. Okay. So that one looks kind of cool too. I like the other one better though. Still, this is still going to be cool. I mean, this one, if I decide I don't like it, I mean, first off, if I decide I don't like it, I can always add more spray, right? Or... I can die cut stuff out of it. So you'll have some of that white and some of that not white. And I think I can possibly put it over some of the spider web ones over here. So it should be fine. And let's see what it looks like underneath the stencil. Let's see what got left behind. Oh, 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 oh. So up at the top, it did have some bleeding under it, but I think that is, that is fabulous. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> oh, you're right. D says that that other one um, looks like a spooky tree. It does. But this, this turned out fabulous. And now I have black ink on my nails. Ooh. Okay, so I need to put this stuff away and then we need to try doing some of the grit paste, some of the new stuff, grit paste and the texture paste through a stencil. I don't know which stencil I want to use. It might be the bats. Yeah, the other one, the one that I just, uh, this one that I put off to the side. Yeah, this one does look kind of like a creepy tree. Okay. Somebody is still supposed to be working. Okay, Brenda, I missed. Oh, Cordelia's husband came into talking. It. I think that means he loves you, and he probably knows that you can catch it on the replay. Like you have time to do that, right? Okay. Well, I'm going to clean this up, and I will be right back again. I hope you guys don't mind me going back and forth. I do not have a sink in this room, so I have to go to another room to do all the things. Uh, especially since I didn't bring myself a bin in here because I didn't have another one to be able to do the rinsing because I didn't know I was going to play with stencils. Anywho, um, but I will be right back again.
Okay. Um, Cordelia says you're good. Is that because... Why am I good? And then they're wanting to know what am I going to mix first. Um, I was talking about using the texture paste. And this one is a black, which I think is going to look really cool. And this other one is the glow in the dark. So... I haven't thought about putting color in one of these. I mean, the black you really can't add a color to, but, huh, maybe adding some color to a grit paste, the glow in the dark, I don't know. What do you guys think? Would that be cool to do? Oh, okay, go wash the stencils. I'm good as in you don't mind. Okay, thank you so much, honey. I try not to be boring and I know just looking at a screen when there's nobody there and just looking at their desk when nothing's happening is boring and I try not to be boring that's something else I would love to know guys I would love to know why you why you come and watch are you coming for the entertainment <laughs> Okay, I think I'm going to use some regular cardstock this time. Where did I put some of my regular cardstock? See, that's what happened. I cut down a bunch of panels and then I use it all. Okay, so here we've got, and I do need to clean more, but this was just a quick rinse off. So I'm going to use my little bats. Gonna have each side have just a touch hanging off, I think. We come for the crafting and stay for the chat, or maybe the other way around. <laughs> okay, so we've got that. And that's got wax on it. Let me grab another palette knife. I'll go with this one. Oh, that's something else I got this week, guys. I mean, you already saw, you already saw on the other on the Spellbinders video that I got in some of the wax seals, right? So yeah, so I was playing with the wax seals because those came in the mail. It's like I that's probably the first time in I don't know how long that I've actually played with stuff the day it came in. No color for the glow. Oh, okay. No color for bats glow in the dark. Okay, so you just wanted to be just glow in the dark for the bats. Then I should probably put this on black cardstock instead of on white cardstock. What is the name of my Discord group? The Discord group is Debbie J's Crafting Corner. And if you type in exclamation point Discord, in the chat it should pop up and it should be somewhere in the chat already uh let me see where's uh, some black regular black cardstock i'm looking for for some that's not got okay that's a piece of regular cardstock i've got regular cardstock i've got Oh, it will be interesting to see if you color it will it still glow in the dark. I think it's where they were thinking because of it being bats, it shouldn't be. So I'm going to do just plain, plain grit paste over these bats as a first, first run. This is actually kind of, it's almost the texture of like butter. It's not real chunky. But then looking at it, as I'm putting it down, I can see the little granules. And uh, where is my palette thing? Here we go. Because I am real bad about wasting a ton of time trying to get everything perfect in a stencil. When that's not the best, easiest way to do it, right? Uh, 
and I used to have a bigger one. I somehow lost it. Nobody loses their stuff as much as me, I don't think. Okay, going a little bit thicker. And I keep lifting some of it off. I don't mean to do that. Okay, I'm going to say that's good enough before I ruin the cardstock underneath. So that looks pretty cool. So we're going to let that dry. And I'm thinking because there is, you can probably see that it is a little bit raised. It's not flat, flat. There is a little bit of texture there. Um, that means it's probably not going to dry. Um, Okay, I'm, I'm probably not going to um, be able to finish up seeing how this is going to look today, but that just means I'll have to show you guys next week, right? Not that anybody would be interested in Halloween next week, but that is still going to be cool. Yeah, I like it. Okay, now I need to put this somewhere and I need to clean this up. I wish I knew where my baby wipes were. Because they would help me so much. I wonder if my husband stole them. He shouldn't have. Okay, so I'm going to try just wiping it up with some water. Try not to get it all over everything else. There we go. That's actually cleaning up pretty decently. And then I want to go and use some of the black because I want to see what it's like. Like I said, I just got this in. I think they came in like yesterday. I was like, okay, I can play with this with you guys tonight. Okay, so we're going to do some of the black. <laughs> that looks kind of cool. And we're going to go on some white card stock. So let me tape that down again. Okay, this is thicker than the glow in the dark. Okay, make sure that I've got all the stuff off of this one first. I might be okay mixing mixing them together, but I don't know. Yeah, this is pretty thick. And I'm just going back over it mostly because I want to um, gather up all of the excess. I don't want to leave any of it behind. Okay, now I'm back in and just filling up any of the gaps that I might have missed. There we go. Have I looked in the last place you put it? Well, honey, I don't actually leave my desk. So that means it has to be here at my desk. Everything I lose, I lose here. Ooh, look at that. Hello, Kelly. Welcome, welcome. That is cool looking. Okay, so let me wipe up some of this stuff. But yeah, this, this paste is really, really thick. 
I was actually surprised that it came in this large of a jar, which is fabulous. Because the stuff that I got last year, I think I think what I did is I got this I got like one of the um, combo packs at um, at Joann's or at Michael's, and it had those little bitty containers, which of course means I don't use, part of the reason I don't use it is because I don't want to decide I really like it and then run out of it. You know, it's that whole, um, that whole working from a place of, I mean, words are hard. Well, Kelly, you just are a little bit, a couple minutes late, honey. <laughs> Because I just did. <laughs> I did that before I did the black. And one th one suggestion that they had was that maybe I should add some color to it. Because I've also been playing with the mica stains. I have no idea whether or not it would work. Um, maybe it would just give a little bit of color to it. and It would still glow. I I'm thinking it'll probably still glow. So this is going to be really cool. And I'm thinking that uh, next week... I'm going to have to share, actually, I'll be sharing pictures regardless, but yeah, sharing how these work and whether or not, um, you know, how all the things work. Because I've already been playing with all the stains and stuff too. Here's a couple of panels that are drying from a combination of stains. But yeah, I've got, I've got places, I've got stuff all over my house now and I have to, yeah. I didn't know what I was going to work on, Miss Kelly, until I started playing tonight. And these guys are fabulous. I actually came and started up not really feeling too hot. Kind of, yeah, this is going to have to go into the sink. I need to scrub this one. It's already drying enough where it, a paper towel and water is not going to clean it off. So I will be right back again. And um, anyhow... Gloria says he's doing okay. In February, he bought a new car. Next day, he was in an accident. Hasn't have a back yet. Part on back order. Well, that sucks. Okay, I'm going to be right back, hun. Okay, so Kelly says, how's everyone? It's 12.03 a.m. Where are you, Kelly? And what are you doing up so... Well, I, I shouldn't ask that because, yeah, you're a crafter. And I've been complaining that we don't have enough hours in the day. So that's exactly why you are up <laughs> this late, right? Okay, I think I'm going to pick a different color of cardstock. And I had to plug in my headset because it said it was dying. 
Huh, I could do something on craft. Maybe. Oh, so what I'm going to try, experimentation time, we're going to add some color to that glow-in-the-dark grit paste, but I'm not sure what color background to do it on. Any thoughts? Could go could go purple and then put orange in it and see if that does anything and then let you guys know if it still glows does that sound like a plan i think that's what i'm gonna do yeah um judy one of my friends when she was on her twitch stream today she showed how bad it was yeah because she's down in tampa and yeah, 112 degree heat index. Yeah. I mean, we're, I'm in my craft room and I have the air conditioning on and it gets cold in here, but this today I didn't actually get cold. Normally I get a little bit cold. Okay, we are going to experiment. I don't wanna to use too much of this because I don't wanna waste any of that absolutely wonderful goodness, but I'll start off with that. If I need more, I can always get some more. And then we're going to use some of the new mold cider. It should still be mi mixed well. I just did one little squirt. And then let's try mixing that up. Color looks kind of cool. It's actually a little bit lighter of a yellow. I mean, of an orange. So that looks kind of cool. And then we're going to come in over the purple. I think I'm going to have to make some more. Yep. So D says, walk outside, get hit in the face with a hot oven. Yep. Uh, Kelly, I can't deal with the cold is my problem. I also, I grew up in Montgomery, Alabama, so it would get in the hundreds all every summer. And we didn't have air conditioning for a while there. Okay, mixing up some more of this. And this part is a little bit darker. Uh, this is just, this is just so yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I bet it still glows. I can't imagine that the orange mica would make it not glow anymore. Okay. Yeah, I can't go without one these days. I'm also paler than I ever was as a kid, too, in the middle of summer, because I never go outside. Okay. So I kind of smudged it a little bit, but that still looks really cool. I like the orange on the purple. And we could do the opposite too, purple on orange. But that's going to look kind of cool. Okay, I know I told you guys earlier that Dawn isn't going live tonight. Is there anybody else that is planning on going live in her stead tonight? Because I can still play for a little bit longer, but I can't play for too much longer because we got to have dinner and I'm already starving because I'm trying to diet and I'm trying to, um, yeah, I'm skipping lunch. I'm trying to do that whole um, intermittent fasting without actually looking into what it actually means. Yeah, and this, the, the um, glow in the dark grit paste, it cleans up a lot easier than that um, black texture paste does. The black texture paste definitely dried fast. I have a feeling I'm going to need to use it pretty quick, <laughs> but I do love it. 
Okay, I'm going to see if any of these panels that we did earlier are dry, and then I can show them to you. Um, I can tell that my bats are not. Uh, here's that, that one that you guys said looks like a tree branch, and it's mostly dry. I mean, some of the shimmer you see is not wet. It's, some of it is just the mica. And here's that, that first one where we blotted up some of the spider web. So I'm going to run get the other panels, the full ones where we did the you know, first try, and I'll be right back. Okay, so someone had asked about the Discord. There is a link so that you can join my Discord. And looks like I still have a little bit of paste on this palette knife. Let me get that cleaned off real quick. So this one is the one that is unraveled. To me, it looks like a, a real nice, kind of a champagne-y looking color. I think that is really, really pretty. And it is already dry. Okay, some of these other ones are not quite so dry, but the blue looks like it is. This one is, where'd it go? This one is Phantom Mist. Yeah, some of these, this one is still a little bit damp. I got a little bit on my thumb, so it's still a little bit damp, but that is still pretty. But these two, I didn't put a lot of the spray down. I just put a little bit, so it had more time to dry. Next, we've got this purple one is Ominous Twilight, and then the orange is Mold Cider. Actually, the Ominous Twilight, you can see some of the orange because this is the one where I also sprayed it with the mold, um, with the mold cider on top of it. So it looks really cool. You've got a lot of the purple, and when you, when you tilt it right, you got the purple shine. But then when you tilt it a different way, you got that orange shine. So those are kind of cool looking. But you can see some of it is still wet. Then the last two... We've got Fallen Acorn, which is this brownish one. And then the green, we have Specimen. This almost looks like, like snake skin. These are just so, so, so cool. Okay, so I am going to go into my Discord and wave hello to Miss Melissa. So welcome on in. So everybody else who's in the Discord, make sure you say hi and welcome her when you get a chance. And if you have any kind of questions, Melissa, just let me know. I am planning on redoing some things in the Discord, make it better, more user-friendly, more fun. I just want everything to be fun. But yeah, but aren't those just, these are just so, so, so cool. Okay, so those are those, those are those, yep. Then we've got our spider web that's got all of the colors and then that spider web stencil. And that was the one that we blotted off some. So we've got a mostly white, but still having that spider web texture in the background on those. So those are kind of cool. And then we've got our bats. So this is where I had the bats who were stenciled out the the stencil had the holes for the bats to, to work with. We've been working with that one quite a bit. So here's the original stencil for that one. And then here's the, that one that, I love this one. This one almost looks like bats going through a cloudy sky, but that is really cool too. So I think they all turned out great. Big problem at this point is how the heck do I use them? That's why I wind up, just like you guys, I wind up with all these panels that I don't know what to freaking do with. Uh, then, of course, 
Can't forget these last couple of guys. We've got the black panel with the glow in the dark grit paste. Then we've got the white panel with the black texture paste. And then we've got the purple with the orange glow in the dark paste. So those are going to be real interesting to see how they turn out. Absolutely, Brenda. Last year, I didn't do as many Halloween cards. I, I told you guys, Halloween is my favorite my favorite, favorite, favorite holiday to craft for because you get to play with so much stuff and you get to try out things and you get to do stuff like all the stuff we just did with all of the sprays and create lots of fun things that you wouldn't think of doing the rest of the year because we try to be, okay, I guess I try to be too much of, too perfect on all my other cards. I'm not, I never make it there but, and I am amazed I am amazed at how well this. Hello, Miss Dawn. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> so Dawn, Dawn was saying she couldn't couldn't hang out with us, but we are so happy you popped in, honey. I've been I've been playing with sprays and stains and making a mess. Yeah, and these are just gorgeous. Loving it. Ah, <sighs> anyhow, um. Coming up, my brain just stopped again. Um, I mentioned earlier, for you guys that weren't here, I mentioned earlier that Thursday I'm going to have a video up that is using the Better Press with some new Christmas cards. It's their Christmas collection because I finally got the, the plates in because you guys have been buying them out. So that's coming up on Thursday. There's also going to be a an Instagram hop with the same. Um, there's my face again to hi. <laughs> so that's what's coming up with that. And I'm going to just switch over to just me. Okay, we're going to do that. Um, but that's what's coming up on Thursday. And then, and I already recorded it today. So I'll be editing it tomorrow and putting it up. Um, I'll put it up for members tomorrow. So if you're a member of my channel, you'll get early access. I am continuing that on. I do plan on sometime between now and the end of the month, hopefully. Um, revisiting what the different tiers are and how they work and what you get and all the things I'm wanting to try to flesh it out more if that's the way to think about it anyway um, I've got lots of ideas that's my problem too many ideas not enough time um, so Thursday is going to be the better press um, Friday I will be live on the stamp me some love let me pull that up again stamp me some love website at 5 p.m eastern because we have the card maker success summit and my presentation will be earlier in the day and we are going to be making that cute little swinging gnome card that i decided to do in pink yeah so we're going to be doing that and then next week next saturday is my next class let me pull that one down. So next Saturday is my next class. So it's going to be Halloween cards. And we're also going to be do swinging cards, which didn't even dawn on me that that's what I was doing right after the summit. I'm doing another swinging card. Yeah. Next month, we're going to do a shaker card. So I'm trying to do a lot of, I'm trying to start putting in more interactive cards and pulling those into the classes because all of us at some point or another struggle a little bit with interactive cards. And sometimes we just need somebody to hang out with and help us through the process. So that's what I'm going to be there for. Um, I would love for you guys to come to my classes. I would love for you guys to come to the summit. If you don't already have your ticket for the summit, there is a free ticket. Let me put it back into the chat. So it should pop up in just a second so that you can get that link. Um, although the verbiage on there says February, it's the same link that I used last February, but it still works. Cardmaker Success Summit. Um, but go ahead and use that link. That way she knows that I sent you. Um, what else? You guys definitely helped me with my mood. <laughs> I was very, I was, I, earlier today, I was really, really depressed and had to push myself to do some crafting and kind of all I wanted to do instead of going live is I just wanted to play some stupid video game and then didn't do it. What day are you? I am on Friday. So I will be going, my presentation is on Friday. My live stream, I'm going to be live on the Not Too Shabby Shops um, YouTube channel and in the Facebook group. I think that's how she's doing it. That's going to be Friday at 5 p.m. Uh, so that's going to be fun. It's going to be a Q&A and 
all the things like well, if you've been to any of the summits you kind of know how it is so it's going to be fun and did you guys have any kind of questions for me i mean basically what we do is we played with new stuff <laughs> and now i need to make some cards with them right Hanging out with crafty friends is almost guaranteed to employ, improve anyone's mood. Thank you, Brenda. That is super sweet. Yes, you are absolutely right. Getting to hang out with you guys definitely helped. So thank you again for all of that. Um, do you have some plans for things coming up? I, I don't think... I don't think the video schedule is going to be as busy this week as it has been the last couple of weeks. But you never know. <laughs> I might wind up with a lot more things to do. I know I've got at least two videos already um, recorded that I need to edit. So, but that's part of the problem. I wound up, I recorded two days, I think it was two days worth of crafting and shoved it into one 20 minute video. So if you haven't already seen the Spellbinders Club Kits, I did the video for that. That went up yesterday, day before. I think it was yesterday so that video is up it is really really quick but if you have any of those that you'd like to possibly see revisited let me know i ask in the video to please put something in the comments if you want to see any of those let me know it may be something i do right away it may be something i don't have time to do it may be something that we do for a class coming up you never know so anyway um if there's nobody going live, I guess I'm going to go ahead and release you. Oh, I'm using Jax's term, release you into the wild. Yeah, I think I'll go ahead and let you guys go. Let everybody go and have their dinner. I need to put some sausages on and Todd just got back from his bike ride. So we need to eat dinner and I will see you guys soon. Love you guys. Bye. And where's the button? There's the button. Okay. Bye guys. Wait, wait, what, what do you, D, what do you mean? Oh, no. Hello, Vedette. <laughs> so, D, D, answer my question. What do you mean? Oh, no. <laughs> Thank you, guys. You guys rock. Um, absolutely. I appreciate every last one of you, especially all of my members and, well, all of you guys. There are several of you guys that are now members on my channel and you guys are, oh, D says, I can't let you out in the wild. <laughs> so anyway, thank you again for everything, guys. <laughs> yeah. Um, as Stream Element says, my channel is made possible by the kindness and generosity of members, of viewers like you. So thank you again and y'all have a wonderful night. <laughs> Bye, guys.